Hey, Tony here, Random Adventures 2.0. What are we doing? Well, we're traveling, because this is a traveling vlog, right? <laughs> so, hey, I had a great uh, time uh, in West Virginia in probably, uh, oh, I don't know, in maybe 10 miles, we're coming to another state. So, uh, I don't remember what state, <laughs> All right, I tell you, but we're on Route 64 West, heading down and we've got a long day of travel today so i don't know let's see what we run into all right i will talk to you in a bit yeah right there's a, a sign for marshall university and if you remember the movie uh, we are marshall uh that is actually a true story of uh a plane crash well I won't tell you much about it look up the movie we are Marshall maybe you've already seen it uh, but uh, look that up but right off exit 11 here is the University of Marshall yeah I'm driving a little construction area so this is a cattle shoot I call them uh, but they've got me pinned in this little lane and uh, it looks like for a lot of miles yeah, so I wonder how much construction we're going to run into, but they're widening this road. Yeah. And repairing a couple bridges. We're making the bridges wider, too. All right. Yeah, so Route 64, we're only going to be on here for about 29 miles, 28, 29 miles. And then we're going to pick up Route 23, and we're heading to Asheville, North Carolina. So there's going to be a lot of roads. We're not taking the interstate. That would have been a little quicker, but I don't want to just be on the interstate. Uh, so uh, I want to get off, see some small towns on our way. If we're driving, we might as well see what's on, on the way, right? All right, so we're coming up. I think, uh, well, yep, this is exit six, and uh, I still see Sheets gas stations. Hey, but I, I don't have to fill up with gas. Uh, Jeff and Melissa were, were gracious enough and uh, just a blessing. They topped off my tank and sent me on my way uh, with baklava and, and peanut butter fudge. And so, oh my goodness, is Melissa ever the awesome cook? I would say if you're ever in the area, stop by, but <laughs> she's got to open a bakery. She's amazing, a uh, cook, and uh, and quick. And I tasted uh, an original uh, cornbread uh, in a glass with milk. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be my new uh, new thing. So, yep. So we continue. It says if we stay on this, we'll end up in uh, Kentucky. Here we got to go through Kentucky just for a little bit, and then. All right, we're off to North Carolina. All right, we're crossing Big River. Hey, Big River, and there's a barge uh, that's coming down. I can't swing the camera over to see that, but I'm just telling you about it. <laughs> but we are coming into Kentucky. Hey, we're in Kentucky. All righty. Exit the highway at exit 191. So we're going to get off of this exit at 191, exit 191. All right. Yeah, that wasn't uh, much into Kentucky, and we're already turning left. <laughs> Keep left. Up here at the light. US I just turned right off the exit, though. <laughs> but we're going to turn left. Yep. Alrighty, alrighty, so we are on Highway 23 in Kentucky, and we're going to be on this road for about 156 miles. So we are going to be on this for a little bit. But one um, fact about this road, it's actually named um, Country Music Highway. So that's pretty cool. Yep, we're gonna get on down the road. So we're heading south. 
we're continuing heading south before we can head west. Aha, uh -huh, we're seeing more blue skies. <laughs> that is great. So, as I'm driving down Route 23 here, um, it runs the eastern side of Kentucky. So, we're like in Kentucky, but we're just heading south on the eastern side. But look at all the trees that are in bloom. Now, one of the things that I'm trying to get more south is because it's going to be like 22 degrees in a couple nights. Um, now I've got the little buddy heater that we can use in the car, but ooh, I'm not built for 23 degrees. Uh, so, but I'm geared up that we can handle it. But yeah, this is this is neat. Uh, just going through uh, the state of Kentucky, and then you know we passed West Virginia back there, and uh, you know anytime you get these carve outs where they made the road, there's one coming up right here. Um, you can see the different layers of rock and how the earth uh, layers are, and yeah, that, that's really neat. Uh, I I'm looking, you know, it's a lot like Pennsylvania. Um, so very familiar with these uh, rocks uh, that are cut out here. Um, same with West Virginia. Very, very similar uh, rock uh, structures or uh, layers. Uh, so a lot of shale. Uh, I do notice a lot of coal, um, you know, in West Virginia uh, and also in Kentucky. So, yeah, oh, we're coming up through a little section here. Yeah, I'm hoping we get into some towns uh, later on. But it's all going good. Yeah. So I hope you're enjoying it. Yes, I do. And if you haven't hit um, the notification bells yet, um, hit notification. And I, you know, this is day five of our trip. Um, and so there's, you know, four other days. If you haven't watched any of those, go back and watch them. Uh, and we got a lot of more days coming up, all right? Well, man, I'm loving that sun. All right, come on out, sun. Here comes the sun. Wait, that's not a country song. We're on, we're on, there's gotta be a country song that talks about the sun. All right, I'm gonna get that going, all right? Okay, I saw a sign and I gotta get off. Exit 23. Hopefully I can find what I saw the sign for. Uh, it's going to be interesting. All right, I'll bring it back on when I get there. All right, guys. So I just came up a lot of steps, <laughs> but we were out on the highway and I saw just a small sign as we're going down Route 23 that said an arrow and a sign on it. And what was that sign? I just felt prompted to come here and uh, see it for myself. But this is, uh, if you're familiar at all with the uh, Hatfields and the McCoy's family feud, um, this is the McCoy Cemetery, family cemetery. And right over there, is uh, the leader of the McCoy family, Randolph McCoy, and this is his resting place. So this is the headstone here for uh, Sarah and Randolph. Um, so it says, famed leader Hatfield and McCoy feud. So this is his final resting place. Commonwealth of uh, Kentucky, united we stand, divided we fall. And how fitting is that motto? You know, Hatfield and McCoy feud, the feud resulted in part from civil war conflicts, romantic engagements, family oriented uh, discord, property and election disputes mixed with uh, mountain pride, violence surrounding clan leaders, Anderson Hatfield and uh, Randolph McCoy eventually involved governors of Kentucky and West Virginia. Deaths and time brought an end to the feud. McCoy graves here. Among some 500 graves in Dill's Cemetery are the resting places of 
Randolph McCoy clan leader in the Hatfield McCoy feud. His wife, Sarah, their daughter and son, Rosanna and Sam, and Sam's wife, Martha. Uh, this Appalachian vendetta of from Civil War to 1890s became well known. Dill Cemetery is part of the Hatfield McCoy Feud Historic District. There's a lot of other grave sites in the cemetery here, a lot of them Civil War. Um, and, you know, out of the Civil War, it said on the description that a lot of the feuding was over that too, and just Mountain Pride and all of that. And, uh, you know, it just makes you think, you know, that they were fighting for our freedoms and then other countries, you know, that we might have in America. And then you see a, a, a feud like this, the Hatfields and the McCoys fighting against one another. You know, there's too much division and too much fighting, you know. Uh, I don't know why I pulled off here. I just saw the little sign and I was prompted to pull over. Uh, so maybe there's a message in there for us that, you know, it can be a generation of fighting and feuding over many things and you know look at our own lives you know we you know fight over little things you know what time is short you know uh any disagreements you may have try to figure out a way to make it better without fighting and becoming like the Hatfields and McCoys right all right so let's get back on the road I've got to walk down a bunch of steps uh, as I get back to the car so what do we say all right, here we go. All right, <laughs> talk to you in a bit. Way down there is our Subaru. Okay, let's get back to her. All right, so we're gonna get back here on 23 and get on down the road still. Oh, we got a lot of driving to do still. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is pretty though. This is a nice on-ramp. Yeah. So like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but that's the uh, city of uh, Pikesville. Right off of uh, 23, South 23. Right, we just came out of Kentucky. <laughs> you climb this pretty big mountain, and uh, right at the top, there's a little gas station. So, uh, we are entering Virginia again. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, we're back in Virginia. <laughs> Not that I have anything against Virginia, but I didn't know I was gonna go through Virginia again. Uh, I had to double check, make sure I wasn't going backwards. All right, so we're gonna be in Virginia. I just asked. And we're going to be in here for 20-some um, ah, miles, I guess. Uh, so, all right. We will get down the mountain and through Virginia. We're going to North Carolina. Hey, this is how it works, right? So, we were I was coming down Route 23, so we took a bypass because I just felt like the Holy Spirit saying, go to this uh, natural tunnel <laughs> and uh, I got off. I just stopped down there and talked to the uh, uh, state park office and they said the visitor center's up here. Now, Frank and Janine were in this vehicle right here and they were, they had all these stickers. And as I was walking by, I saw all the stickers and said, hey, I've got stickers, but I haven't put them on yet. So I want to welcome you uh, to meet uh, Frank and Janine. How and doing? Uh, and and just through talking, uh, this this couple here, they got married like two years ago. But I had mentioned that I had a stroke, all right. And uh, Frank here says, "Well, I had a mild one." And um, how how long ago was that? It was three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago, and uh, 
you know, what have you experienced from that as far as uh, have you noticed any changes and uh, your outlook on life? My outlook on life is you got to live life to the fullest. Live life to the fullest. Day is going to come. Absolutely. My anxiety gets a little higher now, you know, from time to time. But other than that, I'm fine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So he had a mild stroke, and he was telling me that it was on the right side, tingling in the face. And yeah. through that, uh, these two met, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. And you showed me, uh, what do you have on your hand? I have PLH, which is peace, love, happiness, and faith and hope within yourself and believe in the Lord and never give up. Absolutely. And that's key. Never give up, right? right. <laughs> All right. So... We've got uh, two more uh, 2.0 family members. All right. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more, and uh, we're going to get back on the road. All right. Safe travels, everybody. Yes, safe travels. And they've got all kinds of stickers and <laughs> the places I've never been. All right. So, all right, here we go. 2.0. Two. Point. Point. Yeah. Oh, 2.0. Oh, oh, there, there you, you go. go. <laughs> all right. We're going to see that all across the United States. All right. See ya. Oh, how awesome was that? Yes, <laughs> that was awesome. So, I didn't actually walk to the natural bridge. Um, I was thinking, with talking to Frank and Janine, they said they had pictures. There's a lot of steps to get down to it, and well, he showed me the pictures. They're pretty good, so I'll tell you what, I believe we were just supposed to meet them, because let me give you a little bit of information now that I talked to them a little bit more about. They moved down to Johnson City uh, several years ago, and this was going to be their first stop when they moved down here and they have not done it but today well actually before after that they've been to all these other places with all these stickers on the car but today they decided you know what we're only 45 minutes away from the natural tunnel let's go over there and check it out i would have never met them if they'd have came down here when they moved into the area another just divine appointment all right i'm going to put up uh, some of frank's pictures and uh, i just thank you guys i appreciate you guys and it's time to get down the road i gotta get back on 23 all right talk to you in a bit Okay, I just passed a sign. There's a welcome center. I think that's for Tennessee. I have no clue anymore. <laughs> so, in a mile and a half, we're just gonna pull off in that uh, that rest area and also the uh, welcome center and take a walk in there and see what's in there. All right. I didn't think I'd be in Tennessee yet. <laughs> I don't know. Oh boy. So here we are at the, yeah, made in Tennessee. So we, we are at the visitor center. So I'm going to pull in for welcome center and rest area. All right, guys, look at this. I got a sticker and a guitar pick. Welcome to Tennessee. So that was so awesome. That's why you got to stop at visitor center or welcome centers when you get into a state. All right, so we're going to get back on and head towards Johnson City. All right, very familiar. There's Route 81 or Interstate 81. Now, we're continuing on down... Uh, Route 23, and now we're on 26, so Interstate 26, so that's where we're headed. And I looked at the map, so yeah, we go through Tennessee. I did not know that, but we're going uh, from north down to south, 
and uh, we're just uh, skirting the uh, little point that sticks out on Tennessee. So we got like 90 miles on Tennessee or this part of Tennessee. So we still got a lot of driving until we get to North Carolina. I just pulled off the side of the highway because I wanted to catch these mountains. So we're still in Tennessee and we're still making our drive. And uh, man, look at those mountains. Look at the sky in the mountains. Man, we're blessed on this trip so far. Ah, loving it. Okay, we just got off our exit. <laughs> so we're on Route 40 for only about a mile and a half and then that we're getting off at this exit uh, we're gonna take a look here and uh, see if we can find a place to sleep there is a cracker barrel on this uh, this road uh, and it is late in the afternoon so I might just be sleeping in a cracker barrel Then arrive at your destination on the right. I'm arriving at destination on the right. <laughs> so, ooh, RV and bus parking right there is a sign. Your destination on the right. We've reached our destination. Let's go over to the back and see what it looks like behind the Cracker Barrel. Oh, this is tight. Oh, let's see. Okay, there might not be a place to park, but maybe I can park in the back here. Looks like RV and bus parking are right here in front. I'm gonna park here for a second and just kind of relax. <laughs> All right. Okay, I just went in and talked to Cracker Barrel and they said right where I parked is perfect. They said that's where people stay. So that's what we're going to do. But they're in the middle. I mean, they're in the middle of their dinner hour. It's um, about six o'clock. So I'm going to run over to Planet Fitness. There's only uh, one minute away. So I'm going to go over there, get a shower, hit the hydro massage chair. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so after driving all these hours, I think I want to get a shower and hit the massage chair. All right. And also, also change my clothes. <laughs> All right. So I am going to do that and I'll bring you back in a bit. Ah, this one's open 24 hours. Ah, that's so neat. So it's only, actually it was about three minutes down the road, but who's counting? All right. I'm going to find a place to park and get on in here. Ah, this looks like a brand new one. All right, guys, I've gotten my shower. If you have not seen these hydro water uh, massage chairs, this is what it looks like. So you sit down on there, and then you got a screen right there that you... I've got 10 minutes, so it's going to start in 2 minutes and 5 seconds. So let me get set up. <laughs> All right, it's going to be kind of hard to hear me, but... Uh, it's firing up, it's heating the water up because it is a warm, oh, it's starting down on my shin. So you can see it works its way up across your body and you can adjust the pressure. So I'm gonna get all the way up to 10. Oh yeah, so that's going by my 
lower back right there. Uh, I got So I'm gonna let it uh, do its thing um, up and down for a couple minutes and then I'll target this area right here. And the way you do that is you slide this bar down. I want it right about there. And then you slide the bottom one up. And then it stays in that area and uh, just targets that area. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, I just came out of Plant Fitness. <laughs> it's dark out, so I've got my old light, old bulb here to light me up. Uh, but as I came out, I met Garrett. He's in a Subaru, um, and he's he's living in his car, all right? He's living in it, okay? So, and his dog, Lil, uh, you know, I asked him how I could pray for him. And uh, he said, find a place to live. All right. Uh, definitely doing that, Garrett. And, uh, you know, my subscribers, if you guys want to pray for Garrett, pray for Garrett that he finds a place to, to live. And then I, I met Sheila. Sheila and her brother and her husband. Uh, they're uh, also living out of uh, a van. Uh, but they're traveling. And... Um, they're believers and we had an awesome time hey guys how are you doing and uh if you're watching this comment down below let me know that uh you're doing good and uh well i gotta get going i gotta get back over to where i'm spending the night but i just wanted to share that with you real quick and um yeah yeah all right gotta go <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, by the way, that's my towel. I got a clothesline in the car. So I'm still in the front seat. I haven't climbed in the back seat yet. And uh, I just thought you can see it's raining. I just checked the weather. Uh, it's 6 a.m. It's 100% rain. And uh, it's supposed to rain most of the day tomorrow. So, hey, I'm going to meet Dennis. Dennis, the subscriber, Dennis, that gave us the car carrier. So I'm at the Cracker Barrel that Lou and Dennis met to get the car carrier so that Lou could drive it up to me and meet me up in Roanoke, Virginia. So I'm at that exact Cracker Barrel. So I gave Dennis a call, and he's going to come over and meet me in the morning, and uh, we're going to have coffee together and uh then I'm going to hit the road. So I really don't know what tomorrow is going to hold. I've never filmed yet in the rain. Uh, but we have had five beautiful days of uh, blue skies. And, uh, well, it might be a little challenge filming. But, uh, hey, <laughs> if you haven't hit that notification bell, hit it. You don't want to miss an episode. And, hey, you got to check out tomorrow. See how we made out. But I'm going to get on Route 40 heading west. So we're finally on Route 40, and we're going to go west, and we're going to continue to go west until we hit the ocean. Um, but there's going to be lots of stops in between, so don't forget to follow us. And uh, remember, you have a random adventure yourself, all right? You should be getting the idea how to do this soon by watching. And if you haven't watched all the ones previous, go back and watch them. You're going to enjoy it. All right? So, I think we got to score some music. All righty. <laughs> so, hey, uh, remember it's just one adventure at a time. And you have your own adventure, too. But don't forget to follow me and check it out. And, uh, hey, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Good night. Tony 2.0. Out. All right. Good night. Ah, oh, I got to turn that light out. <laughs>